Alcom. This will be a series of videos that will cover the principles of basic organic chemistry. This will be somehow geared towards the health or pharmaceutical sciences because I am a pharmacist by profession and after these sets of videos I plan to move on to biochemistry or medicinal chemistry. However, even if you are not within the medical or healthcare field, you are very much welcome because as many know, organic chemistry covers a lot of different disciplines or sciences. You can call me SL because that's my given name, but of course if you know me personally, you already know how to call me the way you call me before. Now, these are the good to haves. So for anyone who has like zero idea about organic chemistry, take note that organic chemistry covers organic compounds, those that contain carbon. You must already have read on the history, basic words like functional groups, organic reactions, just so you could have a head start. Now, that would require that you would have some general chemistry principles, at least at the high school level. But I do understand that a lot of people who graduate high school don't actually embrace chemistry. So even if we encounter very basic chemical principles, something that you may have heard way ago, heard of way, way, way before, Let's brush up on those just to make sure that we are all on the same page, but of course not to the full detail. Now, spatial awareness is not an absolute requirement. You can actually excel in this subject even if your spatial awareness sucks, but this is a really good plus whenever we discuss topics that require 3D imaginations of compounds flipping or spinning in the case, for example, of isomers. Now, if you're watching my videos and you have already discussed or studied organic chemistry, these are the things, the more specifics of what is to be expected in my next recordings. I will be only discussing OCHEM 1, so meaning the advanced organic chemistry like organic chemistry 2 or 3, you know, name reactions like the Mitsunobu, a bunch of rearrangement, redox reactions like the Bayer Villager, etc. It will not be the concentration of this video. Let's discuss functional groups will not be covered as well as exceptions because my video is intended for beginners who have no idea of the generalities yet. So of course we go there before the exceptions. Now again, we will discuss the common functional groups if ever you're already familiar with let's say alcohols, carbonyl compounds, carboxyl compounds, hydrocarbons. Those are the only things we will talk about. As far as spectroscopy is concerned, I think I will only be concentrating on infrared and not on other techniques like NMR or mass spec because infrared is the one most related to functional groups. With that said, we now go to the first formal discussion in the next video.